In the previous chapter of the course, we got acquainted with the most widely used instrument in the field of electronics and electrical technology, the multimeter. By watching the demonstration of using the multimeter, we learned how to measure resistance, AC voltage, and DC voltage, and how to determine the continuity of a conductor. I believe you have already mastered the usage and precautions of the multimeter. In this lesson, we will continue to learn about the second commonly used electrical instrument, the megometer, also known as the megger. It is mainly used to test the insulation resistance of electrical equipment, household appliances, or electrical circuits to ground and between phases. This ensures that these devices, appliances, and circuits operate under normal conditions, preventing incidents such as electric shock, fatalities, and equipment damage. In the learning process of this lesson's content, we will divide it into four parts. The first part is the learning goals. The second part is the utilization of common electrical instruments, too. The third part is the summary of the lesson. The fourth part is the post-lesson exercises. The learning goal of this lesson is, by measuring the insulation resistance of equipment, to grasp the usage and precautions of the megometer. 1. Commonly used megometers. A megometer is used to measure the insulation resistance of equipment. It consists of a hand crank generator, a measurement scale, and terminal posts, L, line terminal, E, earth terminal. The ZC series megometer requires manual cranking of the handle to generate electricity for measuring the insulation resistance of the equipment. When the insulation portion of a device, component, or element becomes damaged, aged, or exposed to moisture, the insulation resistance value will decrease. Newly acquired equipment and equipment that have been stored for an extended period should have their insulation resistance measured before use. Using equipment, components, and devices with inadequate insulation resistance is highly dangerous. 1. Classification of hand-cranked megometers. According to the minimum scale, hand-cranked megometers are classified into two categories, 0 megaohm and 2 megaohm. According to the voltage generated during the hand cranking process, hand cranked megometers are available in various specifications, including 250 volts, 500 volts, 1000 volts, and 2500 volts. When measuring the insulation resistance of low voltage electrical equipment, it is advisable to choose a hand cranked megometer with a minimum scale of 0 mega ohm and a voltage of 500 volts or 1000 volts. For measuring high-voltage electrical equipment, opt for a hand-cranked megometer with a minimum scale of 2 mega-ohm and a voltage of 2,500 volts. 2. Instructions for using the hand-cranked megometers. Uh, before measuring the insulation resistance of equipment, it's important to check if the hand-cranked megometer is functioning properly. To accurately measure the insulation resistance of equipment, use a hand-cranked megometer where the pointer is at the zero mark during the short circuit test and at the infinity mark during the open circuit test. When using a hand-cranked megometer, the hand-cranking speed should be 120 rpm, revolutions per minute. B. Measuring the insulation resistance of insulated conductors. The L a terminal post of the hand-cranked megometer should be connected to the conductor, while the E terminal post should be connected to the insulated outer sheath of the wire. When using a hand-cranked megometer, the hand-cranking speed should be 120 revolutions per minute. C. Measuring the insulation resistance of distribution circuits. The L terminal post of the hand-cranked megometer should be connected to the conductor, while the E terminal post should be connected to the ground wire of the circuit when measuring the insulation resistance of distribution circuits. When using a hand-cranked megometer, the hand-cranking speed should be 120 revolutions per minute. 3. A safety regulations. A. When measuring resistance, it must be done under the insulated conditions of electrical equipment and conductors. B. When using a megometer, ensure it is placed flat and kept away from magnetic fields. C. During readings, align your sight, the pointer, and the scale marks in a line to ensure accurate readings. Next, we will watch a demonstration video to get acquainted with the megometer and learn how to use it to measure the insulation resistance of equipment and other related knowledge. First, let's introduce the equipment and tools we will be using for the practical training. We have one three-phase AC asynchronous motor, 1 megometer a roll of electrical tape an adjustable wrench a voltage pen 
one Phillips screwdriver and one flathead screwdriver, a brush, several pieces of gauze, pens and paper. The megometer we are using today is the CZ25-3A insulation resistance tester with a voltage rating of 500 volts. Next, let's proceed with the instrument's wiring. Connect two wires to the terminal posts of the megometer. Connect the red wire to the L terminal and the black wire to the E terminal. Open circuit test of the megometer. First, the first step. Keep the two measuring wires unattached. Lightly grip the handle of the megometer with your right hand and uniformly crank it at a speed of 120 RPM, revolutions per minute. At this point, we can observe the pointer pointing to infinity. Short circuit test of the megometer. Firstly, short circuit the two measuring wires. Hold the megometer with your left hand and grasp the handle with your right hand, cranking it at a speed of 120 RPM, revolutions per minute. Now, we can see the pointer pointing to zero. Measuring the insulation between the three phases and ground of the three-phase AC motor. Firstly, we open the junction box cover of the three-phase asynchronous motor using a Phillips screwdriver. We use an adjustable wrench to loosen the nut. Clean it with a brush. And wipe the wire ends clean with gauze. Firstly, we measure the insulation of the U phase of the three-phase motor, isolating the other two phases. The red wire is connected to the U phase, and the black wire is connected to the outer casing of the three-phase AC asynchronous motor. Next, we crank the megometer, and at this point, we can observe the pointer pointing to infinity. Record this measurement result on the paper. Next, let's have this student measure the insulation resistance of the V phase to the ground. We once again see the pointer pointing to infinity. Record this measurement result on the paper as well. Begin by measuring the insulation resistance between the U phase and a V phase. First, connect the red wire to the U phase and the black wire to the V phase. Then, gently crank the handle of the megometer with your right hand. Observe the movement of the pointer. Record the measurement result on the paper. Next, let's have this student measure the insulation resistance between the U phase and W phase. At this point, observe the change in the pointer's position. Is it pointing to infinity? Record the measurement result on the paper. Let's recap the usage of the megometer, one of the commonly used electrical instruments we learned in this lesson. 1. A megometer consists of a hand crank generator, measurement scale, and terminal posts, L, line terminal, E, earth terminal. 2. Before using the hand-cranked megometer, you should perform a check. During the short circuit test, the pointer should be at the zero mark, and during the open circuit test, the pointer should be at the infinity mark. 3. When using the hand-cranked megometer, maintain a hand-cranking speed of 120 revolutions per minute. That concludes this lesson. Thank you, everyone.